In this video, I will show you the operation of a DCTL NAND gate and a DCTL NOR gate. This is the circuit structure of our DCTL NAND gate. Here you will see that we will use two transistors Q1 and Q2 and we will connect the input terminals to the base of the transistor Q1 and Q2. Therefore, this is circuit will be known as direct couple transistor logic circuit and for logic 0 we will apply a DC voltage of 0.2 volt and for logic 1 we will apply a voltage of 0.8 volt so in this NAND gate for logic 0 I will apply 0.2 volt for logic 1 I will apply 0.8 volt so let's say for logic 0 0 as this is a NAND gate therefore for logic 0 0 our output will be 1 logic 0 0 that means I will apply a voltage of 0.2 volt and a voltage of 0.2 volt between B terminal to our ground terminal you'll see that to keep the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 in forward bias I need a voltage at least 0.7 similar case is applicable in case of our transistor Q1 transistor Q1 and Q2 both of them will be in off state as the transistor q1 and q2 are in off state therefore their collector and emitter terminal will act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from our circuit see i have as, as i have disconnected collector and emitter terminal therefore the current will be zero therefore our output voltage will be equal to v c c which will be equal to logic one now consider the second case when our input a will be at logic 0 and b will be at logic 1 that means i will apply a base to emitter terminal or base to ground voltage of 0.8 volt at b terminal and a voltage of base to emitter base to ground terminal of the transistor q1 of 0.2 volt here to keep the transistor q1 or q2 in saturation we have to apply a voltage greater than 0.7 volt as the base terminal voltage of the transistor q1 is only 0.2 volt therefore our transistor q1 will be in off state and as the base to emitter terminal of the transistor vo q2 voltage is 0.8 volt therefore our transistor q2 will be in saturation or in on state so when the transistor q2 is in on state therefore its collector and emitter terminal will act like a closed switch that means and when the transistor q1 is an off state that means its collector and emitter terminal will act like an open switch therefore the current through this collector terminal ic will be equal to zero as the collector current is zero therefore our output voltage will be equal to plus vcc which will indicate our logic one now consider the third case one zero output will be one a will be at logic 1 that means I will apply a voltage of 0.8 volt between base to ground terminal of the transistor Q1 and 0.2 volt between the base to emitter terminal of the transistor Q2 see as the base to emitter junction voltage of the transistor Q2 is 0.2 therefore the transistor Q2 will be in off state and the transistor Q1 will be in on state so when the transistor q1 will be in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like a closed switch so i can short the collector and emitter terminals as the transistor q2 is in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from the circuit therefore the current from this point to this ground terminal will be equal to zero because we have an open circuit from this point to ground terminal as the current will be zero therefore ic rl drop across this load resistor will be equal to zero therefore our output voltage will be equal to plus vcc which will indicate logic one now consider the last case one one this output will be at logic zero because this is a NAND gate if both the inputs are at logic one output will be at a logic zero that means I will apply a voltage of 0.8 volt between this terminal to ground terminal and 0.8 volt between this terminal to ground terminal so you will see we will apply 
a voltage greater than 0.7 volt at both the base terminal of the transistor Q1 and transistor Q2. So our transistor Q1 and tra transistor Q2 both of them will be in on state. So their collector and emitter terminals will act like closed switch. So I can short the collector and emitter terminals. Now look now look at this point here you will see we will have a total short circuit from this point to this ground terminal and across a short circuit we get a voltage drop equal to 0 volt so our output will be at logic 0 for input at logic 1 1 that's it thank you